Chris was the type of man that constantly accused me of cheating on him. He was a controlling man. He was a jealous man, but he never hit me. I left school that day, came home. As soon as I opened the door is when he bum rushed me, stark naked with a butcher knife. He immediately took me into the garage. He laid me on the ground first and was trying to rape me with a butcher knife to my throat. And I was saying to him, you know, what are you doing? I love you, I love you. He then struck me in the head with a hammer four times. He threw gasoline at me, grabbed a candle, and tossed the candle at me. And I went up in flames. Investigators say it appears Christopher Haney doused his wife, Audrey Mabry, with some sort of flammable liquid and then lit her on fire. I began to pray, God, just let me live, just let me live. I spun up, opened the garage, and ran out. And this neighbor ran to me as I was rolling in the grass and hit me with her son's jacket. That was it. He'll never take away my future. He'll never take away my happiness. He'll never take away my character. You wanted the beauty? Take it. You can have it. Please welcome Audrey. So good to see you again. Thank you. How are you? Fantastic. Yeah. Praise God. Well, Before this happened, you were never hit. No, I was never hit. And uh, it went from zero to 100 real quick. You've already crossed so many markers. You're afraid for her. Absolutely. She is in imminent danger. She is only one attack away from death. And. For you, there, you didn't have all these stops on the subway. No. It, it just happened like that. How many surgeries have you been through? Uh, sometimes I lose track. 17, though, and nine procedures. 17 surgeries and nine procedures. And where is he? Uh, he is serving life plus 60 years in prison. But for the grace of God, this could be you and you could be him. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it is just, I mean, it just one day. You could be the man that's doing life plus 60 and you could be right where she is or dead. What, what would you two have given to have been sitting where they are right now and had an intervention to stop this? before it happened. What difference would that have made in your lives? You know, there's so many, so many casualties in this situation. We have two children together, two sons actually, and they don't get to see their father. He doesn't get to see them. And so um, to have had that experience, even if it was just for them, I'm sure we would both give anything at this point. 